Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Holiday Monday and all of our guests today, including Kyle Burrows of the San Jose Sharks standing by, are sponsored by Passant Motors. Celebrate Canada Day with unbeatable deals on pre-owned vehicles. Visit their showroom, Passant Showroom in Surrey, or shop online at Passant Motors, B-A-S-A-N-T Motors.com. Over the weekend, Kyle Burrows, a defenseman from Langley, leaves his hometown Vancouver Canucks after a couple of seasons to sign with the San Jose Sharks. Three years, $3.3 million, and Kyle joins us now. Kyle, thanks for doing this. Congratulations. How are you, sir? Good. How are you guys doing? Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, no problem. What made you decide on San Jose? Uh, it was a good fit, I think. Uh, you know, obviously when things, uh, you know, didn't work out with uh, Vancouver, you know, we kind of had to pivot and, um, you know, I think for us, we, we looked at term and, um, the fit there on the right side and, uh, it came together rather quickly, but, um, you know, I'm excited and, uh, yeah, I'm grateful for the opportunity they gave me. Did you get an offer from Vancouver, Kyle? Uh, yeah, we had some obviously discussions that, uh, we're going through kind of towards the deadline there that, uh, you know, obviously didn't work out, but, uh, you know, I was obviously grateful for the opportunity that they gave me uh, these last two years. And, like, obviously, like I said, I've been pretty vocal about it. It was a dream come true for me. And, um, you know, for myself now, it's uh, turning the focus to San Jose and, uh, you know, trying to add to their team. Uh, you, you touched on that, on this there. Uh, can you put into words what it was like playing for your hometown team? And, and were you treated fairly? I mean... Yeah, like I said, I, I've said it multiple times, and, uh, you know, it's obviously a dream come true of something that, you know, you think about as a kid, uh, you know, shooting pucks in your carport, or, you know, when, when I was rolling up to the George Preston Center when I was a kid playing uh, minor hockey in Langley, and, um, yeah, it was, it was obviously uh, a great place to play, and um, as far as treating fairly, yeah, I, I, I thought, you know what, obviously... Any chance to get an opportunity to play in the NHL, it's it's an opportunity that uh, uh, not a lot of people get. So I don't think that I could say I wasn't treated fairly at all. And um, you know, obviously there there's times where you know I obviously wanted to play and contribute a little bit more. But um, that being said, I, I I'm so grateful for that uh, uh, opportunity that uh, I got to play there here. And um, yeah, it's something that I'm going to look back on my career and and uh, thank them for kind of vaulting me to this level and uh, putting me in position to uh, succeed. Kyle, how much tougher was it being a local boy during contract negotiations because you got family and friends going, Kyle, resign, resign. Was it a little <laughs> bit tougher? Yeah, obviously it's it's tougher. And, uh, you know, like you said, like for me, it's, it's obviously it was, it was a destination that I wanted to be in um, to continue my career. But um, you know, sometimes you, you have to move on and uh, it, as tough as it is, it's, it's it could be for the better here, and obviously with the stability and um, the length of term that uh, San Jose uh, and the opportunity that they've kind of provided me is, which is what I'm kind of really super super excited about. And uh, yeah, Kyle, what are you going to miss most uh, about playing for the, the hometown Canucks? Well, I'm gonna I miss a lot of the the guys there. I think you know that that group of uh, guys in that locker room. They're they're great. You know, obviously uh, putting on that jersey is is something special. Um, you know, since uh, since I can remember, that's that's something that's always always been. You know, I, I mean, I guess since the first time I put it on, it, it was something special, and I I try not to take it for granted. And uh, uh, you know, I think that that's something that I'm I'm going to miss the most. Obviously, the the fans and uh, being able to play at home and um, you know have people that you know I've come and in, in passing throughout my career and you know me growing up, whether that's school or. Um, you know, just people from minor hockey that could just, you know, send me a message that they're at the game or anything like that was, was, was special. And, um, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm just grateful to have that opportunity. You know, Kyle, the, the salary cap's not going up. It hasn't gone up for a few years, COVID and everything else. Was it tough thinking about free agency and what – you never know what could be out there on free agency, but you had seven, eight teams after you, which was great. But is it also scary hitting the market these days? Uh, yeah, I, for sure is. I think you know it's it's you never know what's going to happen. You know the, the market could slide, it could be inflated, whatever it is. But 
um, you know, I'm just happy that uh, we could get something done quickly there once kind of uh, everything opened up. And, uh, yeah, I was just super excited uh, to be a Shark. Talking with Kyle Burrows. Kyle, uh, seventh-round draft pick back in 2013. You played six seasons in the minors before you played your first uh, National Hockey League uh, game. What's your message to young hockey players at any level when it comes to perseverance? Um, I think you just got to stick with it. I I think for me, I've always loved what I've done. Um, You know, getting to to show up to the rink and being able to work and chase a dream, I think that uh, that's something that I've always you know, I haven't really thought of it too much more than that. I think, you know, if you have a, if you're a person, you have an opportunity to work hard and, you know, try to achieve something. I think that that's something that I've always taken to heart is, is the work you put in is the work you're going to get out. And, um, you know, there's going to be hard times or good times. You just need to kind of ride the wave and believe in yourself and uh, trust what, what you can do. And um, obviously it's, it's, it's led me to the situation that I'm in now where, uh, you know, obviously, I'm living out my dream and uh yeah I'm just I'm just super excited that you know through those dark days and those tough days of you know riding the bus and uh you know sticking with it and uh you know obviously uh you know it could be could be doing a lot of other things but you know being a hockey player has always been a dream of mine and um you know to do it at the highest level is uh it's an honor. Yeah, and you got yourself a contract that uh, most of us can only dream about. Here here's another one Kyle. Um People love the way you played in Vancouver. You drop the gloves once in a while, more than once in a while, on a fairly regular basis. What place does fighting have in today's game, in your opinion? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, it depends who you talk to, but I think, you know, it's it's something that, you know, comes through emotion. It comes through the physicality of the game. and It comes through, you know, obviously the history of the game, too. And I think that, for me, it's it's something that you can do to, for your teammates to, to show that, you know, if they need a spark or, um, if, you know, they can't be taking, you know, the other team can't be taking liabilities on, on your star guys or anybody that's kind of wearing the same jersey as you. And, you know, for me, it's, it's something that comes with the physicality that I've, I've kind of come to love to play with and something that I've had to de- develop to, um, you know, stick around and earn respect. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I think as a, as a fan of the game, I think it's it's something that always needs to be there because, you know, we're not sure what would happen if it's not there, uh, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I think, I think you know, it needs to be there and something that it just happens uh, with the way the game's played. Okay, like uh, most hockey players, you like your golf in the summer. What else you got going on in, in the offseason, Kyle? Um, yeah, like a lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of training uh, back on the ice now, and uh, but other than that, in my downtime, I'm pretty much you know hanging out with my dogs, uh, you know walking them down here and uh, enjoying them and spending more time with them and and the rest of the family and uh, my fiance as well and family and friends just trying to you know obviously during the season I'm, I've been closer than I have in the last couple of years, but um, you know for me during the season I try to go into a uh, season mode where I'm not you know bouncing around and you know, getting pulled in different directions. So I'm trying to catch up with uh, friends and family and just trying to relax and kind of be a, a normal person and uh, uh, just enjoy my time off. Well, you got yourself some uh, well-deserved stability, Kyle. Thank, thanks so much for doing this. We sure, sure appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on. You bet.